Hey everyone, today we're making a meal prep recipe for breakfast or lunch or really any time. I'm making egg frittata in a sheet pan. It's quick and easy and you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What does a tightrope walker have in the mornings? A balanced breakfast. <laughs> So before we start off with our recipe, you're gonna need a baking pan like this one. This is a nine by 12. And we're gonna be using eight eggs here. So I'm gonna crack them into a bowl. Now, like I said earlier, this is great for meal prep or if you're serving, let's say four to you know six servings. So next to that, I'm gonna add some coconut milk to give it some nice richness. And keep in mind, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description. Now I love to add a little garlic powder to my eggs. It gives it such a great flavor. So I'm gonna add just a little bit here and we'll sprinkle that in. And we have to have a little bit of salt. So in goes a little bit of that. And we're gonna add some baking powder. Now what the baking powder is gonna do is gonna help to make it rise a little bit so it doesn't lay too flat. Grab your handy dandy whisk and give that a nice mix. Now at this point, we can just set this aside and chop up the rest of the things that we wanna put into our frittata. So for my vegetable lineup, I'm using a red bell pepper here, but feel free to use any vegetables you have, even leftovers that you wanna just use up. It's perfect for a frittata. It's best to chop things up super fine, that way you get a little bit in every bite. I think every delicious frittata deserves an onion, so I'm chopping up a nice yellow onion here with a super fine dice. Keep in mind that all the fresh veggies that you put into this dish need to be cooked beforehand. And next we have none other than a zucchini. Cut off the end and then I'm gonna slice this as thin as I can. It'll cook up a lot quicker that way. Here's my asparagus, which I'm gonna chop up into bite-sized pieces. Mushrooms are also a great addition to a frittata with their nice rustic flavor. And I like to chop them up super fine and give them the super fine dice. Here at the stove, I have a large frying pan over medium high heat and I'm gonna drizzle in some olive oil. And now we're gonna add in all those veggies that we chopped up, starting with the onions. Next, we have the asparagus and the mushrooms, the zucchini and the red bell pepper. Give that a stir and then we're gonna cook this over medium heat for about 15 minutes. We want to season this layer with a touch of salt and some garlic powder. While our veggies are sauteing over here for 15 minutes, we're going to work on some other veggies and spices. I have some nice, delicious, juicy grape tomatoes here that I'm going to slice up and we'll lay these on top before we place our frittata in the oven. Now we've got to get some fresh herbs into this, especially since I have some growing in my garden, fresh thyme and oregano here, and they're really good for you. So we're gonna peel off the leaves and then I'm gonna chop them up. I try not to put too many stems in, but do the best you can, it's not a big deal. When you get roughly about a tablespoon of each, then we'll chop it up. The last herb I'm gonna make is probably my favorite. Does anybody know what this is? The procedure here is to stack those leaves, roll them, and then give them a nice chop to get it nice and fine. After 15 minutes of sauteing these, you can see how they've turned out. They're, they've cooked down quite a bit and they're nice and soft and caramelized and the flavors are enhanced. Now it's time to put this thing together. So I'm gonna oil my pan with some olive oil, put a nice little coating on there and spread it around, get the whole bottom and the sides because it, it might stick. Now I'll place the sauteed veggies right in the pan and we're gonna spread it out evenly over the whole pan. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by smashing the like button. Then pour your eggs right over the top, spreading it out as evenly as possible. Add all your herbs by sprinkling them over the top of your frittata. Next goes the sliced tomatoes. It kind of reminds me of placing pepperoni on a pizza. <laughs> Here's my last addition, which is the basil. And then we're gonna place this into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Now keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to carry this super carefully and slowly so that you don't get a tidal wave of egg on your floor. Steady as she goes. You know what, I didn't spill a drop. It must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go, you ready? How do you drop an egg six feet without breaking it? You drop it seven. It won't break during the first six. <laughs> Here's a peak of our frittata cooking in the oven. It's almost done. 
All right, it's time to eat. Here's our frittata. Doesn't that look scrumptious? All right, I like to garnish it up with a little feta cheese here. Just sprinkle some all over the top and we're ready to serve it up. Depending on what else you're serving with this, you can cut this into four all the way up to six pieces. You can tell this is pretty hot. You see that steam rising? This is such a delicious and healthy meal. You got to try it. Just imagine meal prepping this and then taking some out in the morning and heating it up and then having this delicious meal any time of the week and it's quick and easy. If you'd like to try another meal prep breakfast idea, you're going to want to try my baked oatmeal. This thing is loaded with protein. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you can always let me know by smashing the old like button. And another way is you can share it with somebody you think might enjoy this delicious recipe. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.